Hi guys and welcome back. So I wanted to make a very very simple and quick amigurumi project today. This entire project took me about an hour and a half to finish making so it works up really quickly and it's a great way to use your scrap yarn. So today we're going to make this little amigurumi flap pot. You can use this as a pin cushion or just as a little decoration around the house. So let's get started. So here are all the supplies I'm going to use to make my little flower pot. So you're going to need yarn in a couple of different colors. Something for the pot, so I'm using a brown for that. You're going to need a yarn for the leaves, I'm using this bright green. And then you're going to need some yarn for the flowers. So you can use any colors that you like, you can have a single color. I'm choosing to do three shades, so I'm going to do three different shades of pink. And then for the center of the flowers, you're going to need some yarn. I'm going to use yellow, you can choose to use white as well. All of the yarn that I'm using is medium four worsted weight yarn. So it's a couple of different brands, but then they're basically the same weight. If you want to make your flower pot a little smaller, then you can go ahead and use thinner yarn. Along with all of my yarn, I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I also have a yarn needle a stitch marker, a pair of scissors and usually I use polyfill or fiber fill to fill up my amigurumi but then I have a little bag of scrap yarn that I keep saving up and it's become pretty full so I have quite a bit of it, this is just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to use this to fill it up. If you want your flower pot to be a little heavier, you can even add some dried lentils or beans. So now we're going to get started with the base of the flower pot. So with your brown yarn, you're going to first create a magic ring. So hold the yarn in two fingers and create an X at the back of your fingers. Insert your crochet hook into the bottom, pick up the top and twist and then just pull up a loop. You have a magic ring ready. Into this magic ring, you're going to place six single crochets. Insert your hook, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two, that's one, two, three, four, five and six. Now just tuck the tail end of your magic ring tightly to close it up. For row number two we're going to place an increase all the way around. That means in every stitch we're going to place two single crochets. So into the first one, we're going to place one and two. Into the one after that, again one and two. Into the next one, again one and two. And you're going to do this six times all the way around until you have 12 stitches for this row. Now in order to track my rows, I've placed a stitch marker on my 12th stitch. And for the next row, we're going to place one single crochet followed by an increase. So one in the first stitch. In the second stitch, you're going to place one and two. Again, into the next one, you're going to place one. Into the one after that, you're going to place one and two. And you're going to do that six times all the way around. So one, one, two, one, one, two, until you have 18 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, you're going to place two single crochets followed by an increase. So one on the first stitch, one on the second stitch. Into the third stitch, you're going to place one and two. Again, one. Into the next one, one. Into the third one, one and two. And you're going to do this six times all the way around until you've had 24 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, you're going to place three single crochets followed by an increase. So one, two, three into the first three stitches, into the fourth stitch, one and two. So it's going to be one, 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 two, six times all the way around until you have 30 stitches for this row. Now for the next row, we're going to work in the back loops only. So if you see every stitch has a V, one side of the stitch is facing towards you and one is facing away from you. So you're going to go only into that stitch which is facing away from you and place one single crochet all the way around. So just to show you, the V is right here. We're going to split it, pick up only the back loop. Again, the V is right here. 
split it and pick up just the back loop so go ahead and place one single crochet all the way around for 30 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place nine single crochets followed by an increase three times all the way around for 33 stitches for this row so go ahead and place your nine single crochets and once you're done with that make sure that you place your increase in the tenth stitch now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 33 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 10 single crochets followed by an increase three times all the way around until you have 36 stitches for this row now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 36 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 11 single crochets followed by an increase three times all the way around until you have 39 stitches for this row now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 39 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 12 single crochets followed by an increase three times all the way around until you have 42 stitches for this row now for the next row you're just going to place one single crochet all the way around for 42 stitches for this row now for the next row we're going to place six single crochets followed by an increase six times all the way around for 48 stitches but when we do this we're only going to be working into the front loop so if you see again the V is right here we're going to split it pick up just the loop which is facing towards us so that's this one right here and place a single crochet into it so you're going to do six single crochets followed by an increase six times all the way around for 48 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place one single crochet all the way around for 48 stitches for this row but this time we're going to work in the back loop only so again look at the V pick up the stitch which is facing away from you and place a single crochet all the way around now once you're done you're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then just grab your scissors and snip the yarn off and then just pull your yarn through and that completes your pot so now you can just place it on a flat surface and then shape it and then the last two rows that we have done just fold them back to form a little rim around the pot once you sew in your ends you should have a little pot that looks like this now let's create the top of it so now we're going to start working on the top soil or the top portion of the little pot so you're going to follow rows 1 through 5 of the base of the pot you're going to start with a magic ring with 6 single crochets increase around to 12 1 single crochet followed by an increase for 18 2 followed by an increase for 24 3 followed by an increase for 30 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 4 single crochets followed by an increase 6 times all the way around until you have 36 stitches for this row now for the next row you're going to place 5 single crochets followed by an increase 6 times all the way around until you have 42 stitches for this row now once you're done you can leave a long tail for sewing on snip your yarn off slip stitch into the very next stitch and then just pull it through now we're going to start working on the leaves and i'm going in with some green yarn so first you're going to start with a chain of four so make a slip knot insert your crochet hook tighten and then chain four one two three four now skip the very first chain go into that second chain from your hook place two double crochets so you're going to yarn over go into that second chain which is the one right here pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two that's one and then a second one for two now into the stitch after that you're going to place one half double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three into that very last 
stitch we're going to place three single crochets so that's one into the same stitch two and again into the same stitch we're going to go in with three now if you see our work is started to curl and we're going to start working on the other side now to start working on the other side into that next stitch we're going to place one half double crochet into the stitch after that we're going to place two double crochets one and two and into that stitch right on top over here we're going to place a slip stitch and that completes our little leaf now go ahead and make about eight of these and we're going to sprinkle them all around our little flower pot so now let's start working on the little flowers you can do this in a couple of different colors however you like again we're going to start with a magic ring and into the magic ring you're going to go ahead and place six single crochets now you're going to tug and close up the tail end for the next row into this very first stitch you're going to place two half double crochets so yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you should have three on the hook yarn over pull through all three that's one and two and then into that same stitch you're going to place a slip stitch again into the next one you're going to place one and two into that same stitch place a slip stitch and you're going to do this six times all the way around so into each of the stitches one half double crochet two half double crochet and then followed by a little slip stitch all into the same stitch now once you're done you're just going to slip stitch onto that very first stitch to complete your little flower and if you see you can see the petals quite clearly now go ahead and make a couple of these you can do these in any colors you like and i'll show you how to attach it so now before we attach the flower i'm just going to take some yellow yarn and i'm just going to knot it right in the center twice so i'm going to make two little knots and then i'm just going to snip off the yarn and then using a yarn needle i'm just going to push this to the middle of the flower so i've threaded on the yellow a knot that i made i'm just going to push it to the middle of the flower and just pull it through and then once i'm happy with the placement i'm just gonna knot this at the back as well so if you see the flower has a little center so now once you're done making your flowers and leaves you should have a whole lot of them like this i know the little ends look really scary but don't worry you're not going to have to sew them in another little tip is if you want your leaves to be a little smaller you can go with thinner yarn and a smaller hook that way they're a little tinier it's completely up to you now let me show you how to assemble the entire flower pot so pick up the top that we created we haven't sewn this in yet now you're just going to take your crochet hook push it into any of the holes and then take these loose ends which you have the tails of your yarn just wrap them around your finger and then pull them through once you've pulled through all the strings you can just knot them together to place them in place now do the same thing with the leaves as well and then decide how you want to place this so try to make this as full as possible you can make as many leaves and as many flowers as you want but fill it up as much as you want and i'll show you how to add it to the flower pot so now if you see i've attached on all of the little flowers and leaves so i ended up making about eight flowers and seven leaves and this is what it looks like and i've added some scrap yarn to the bottom of the pot if you see i have a lot of scrap yarn which is left over from attaching the flowers as well so i'm going to use that as stuffing 
also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down into the pot and then sew this onto the base. So we're going to go in and out of each of the stitches and just attach the top to the base of the pot. Like this. Now once you're done, this is what it should look like. So now you can use this as a little pin cushion. You can grab your yarn needles and just place them inside so you don't lose it or you can just use it as a little decoration around the house. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching the video, please like the video, share it with all your friends and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye bye.